Good morning, world. Um, this is a good day because here it is Thursday, which is my Friday to most of the world because I work four tens. And this weekend, my boys will be beating up on the Denver Broncos, so Kevin Gerber will be crying. And I'm sorry, Kevin, but you know, they'll be those tears will clear one of these days. I don't stand a chance. So today I was thinking on the way down. Kim and I have really grown closer in our marriage after 19 years. And why? Well, it always hasn't been easy, and I'll guarantee you that on her part, it has not been easy. It's been a struggle at times, but you know, love is something that you have to choose to do. It's not an ooey-gooey feeling. It's a choice. You know, and God commands in there to... Most, it's really misinterpreted. Women submit to their husbands. And that's where guys leave it. But as men submit to God. So if we're both, if men are submitting to God, and the wives are submitting to them, then we're both submitting to God. So if we're both staying in the word, we're over here, she's studying this word, I'm studying this word of God. And as we move closer to God, look what happens. We get closer and closer together. So, and I'm going to warn a lot of young guys. You know, because here I am an old man now. You young guys, there is a huge difference between lust and love. You know, lust is craving something that you do not have. And God, if you look at the Ten Commandments, what's God say? Do not covet. Thy neighbor's wife, thy neighbor's ass, thy neighbor's goods. Do not covet. And we have that so prevalent in today's society. I think, you know, I could get all political and go into the whole socialism, communism thing, but covet. You know, me as a hunter, that's not fair. This guy's got 120 acres of timber ground. That's not fair because I have none. No, that's coveting. I should be happy this man has worked hard or and he's inherited it. You know, and that's tough to do sometimes when you see these people get to go on all these vacations. They have this nice house. They have this, they have this. That's not my problem. My problem is to work out my salvation with God. Be content with what I have. No. Those are earthly rewards. And we all find out, you know, they'll all perish. They'll rest away. Store up your treasures in heaven, guys. You know, learn to love your wives. You know, when you're struggling, and you will, as couples, you will struggle. There will be times, there will be rifts. You know, I can tell you this much, if you ever give up, when you look back at it, you'll say, I gave up too early. You know, we all have problems, but you know, learn to love your spouse, and your spouse will love you back. It's an amazing world, and the benefits of the love are outstanding. I won't get into the whole Solomon section on Song of Songs, because... That's a whole different ball game, and that's out of my league to talk about. So, but I will tell you this. Listen to Big Daddy Weave's song on the way down today. And the words just hit me. He said, take this broken life I live and make it a beautiful offering. Be blessed. I truly am.